Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the step and repeat function in Photoshop. So this is just a way for you to repeat transformations quickly using shortcuts, which can speed up your workflow and create some cool repetitive patterns and effects. So let's say I have this photo open, and I'm just going to right click it and duplicate it so I can work on a new layer. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. And let's just say I was going to scale it down. This can be a kind of cool effect. So I'll hold Shift and Alt or Option to scale from the center. And I'll pull the image in entirely. Now let's say I wanted to keep doing that, but I didn't want to create a Photoshop action. And I didn't want to have to go to Edit Transform again and try to get the proportions right. Now if you go to Edit Transform, you can see this Again feature, which is just the shortcut Shift Command T, which will just repeat your transformation. You can see what happens when I do that. It just does it one more time. But let's say I want to create a new layer every time I do that. So it adds a duplication or a repetition. If I just hold those same buttons down, Shift and Command, except this time I also hold the Alt or Option key down, and then I press T, it'll apply that transformation. And at the same time, since we're holding the Alt or Option key, it'll duplicate the layer. So you can see we can create some pretty interesting things this way. Kind of acts as a Photoshop action. Here's how that would look like on a couple different pictures. However, you can use this for more than just creating this wacky zoomed in effect. So let's say we're working on a new project. So I'll just have a blank new document open here. And I'll show you guys another way you can use the step and repeat tool. So a lot of my previous tutorials, I'll have been using clipping masks and in order to create a cool clipping mask effect, I would have you guys create a stripe. So I'll just create a selection there. I'll fill it in with black. And then I would have you guys just duplicate and move it and then keep duplicating and moving it over and over and over. However, an easier way to do this would have been to create the first stripe, duplicate it, and then go to edit, free transform, and then simply move it over however many spaces you wanted, and then use the step and repeat tool to fill the entire canvas with it. Super fast, much faster than duplicating things and grouping them and merging them and all that. However, you could also get even more creative with this. Let's draw a J for Justin. So I'll do a J. Now let's use the step and repeat tool to create a cool shape or pattern out of this. So if I use Command J to duplicate, or you could right click and duplicate, Let's create our initial transformation. So I'll go to edit. And remember, you could use any of these transform tools. You could use skew, warp, whatever. You could repeat all of these. I'm just using free transform. So let's do free transform. And this time, let's grab the anchor point, which is this, which is the point from which you can rotate the image from. Let's grab the anchor point and let's move it down here to be here. So now when I rotate the image, you see it rotates along that anchor point. And if you hold shift, you can rotate in 15 degree increments rather than freely. And I'll press enter. So now when I do my step and repeat or again shortcut and hold alt down, I can create a pretty cool 15 degree at a time rotation, which even with that childish letter J that I scribbled on, becomes a really cool pattern that you could use in illustrations and full projects. And keep in mind that you don't have to do symmetrical stuff like I've been doing. Now let's go even one step deeper. Let me just hold shift and highlight all of those. I'll right click and merge them together. You could even press the group button to put them in a group if you didn't want to merge them. And then I'm going to move this over to the left here. I'll make it a tiny bit smaller so we can work with it. And now let's go one step deeper. So I'll duplicate this layer. I'll go to edit, free transform, and I'll move the anchor point to this corner right here. Let's see how that looks. Then I'll hold shift and I'll drag it outwards like so. So I'll press enter. And now let's see what that looks like if I use step and repeat. So shift, option, alt, and then T. So now you can see we've created five of those. And then you can keep going. You can make all types of crazy fractal patterns. But you can see it's come a long way from just a scribbled on letter J that I did with my laptop trackpad 
to looking like an intricate pattern that I spent a lot of time on. Then once you add color and all that stuff, you could create some pretty cool stuff. So that's the step and repeat tool. You can see there's lots of different functions you could incorporate it into, but it'll save you time in your workflow, especially when you're working with clipping masks or something where you have to create a pattern that fills the whole canvas. And I definitely know I could have used this in a lot of previous tutorials to replace some manual steps. And hopefully you guys can keep this in your Photoshop playbook to use in the future and save you time. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button below. Leave in the comments some cool stuff that you made or you might want to make with this tool. And subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.